Northern Lights put on quite a show across the United States this weekend. Meteorologist Cameron Leatherman joins us with more on how they formed. Cameron. This weekend, we observed a G5 geomagnetic storm that followed a series of strong solar flares that the sun began to produce early in the morning of Wednesday last week. Solar flares send something called coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, hurtling out into space. CMEs are largely comprised of plasma, charged particles and pieces of the sun's magnetic field. In order to make their way towards the Earth, the CMEs travel on solar winds at incredibly high speeds. And when they approach the Earth's magnetic field, they follow the path of the field to the point where it is the weakest, which would be the poles. This is why we associate the Northern Lights with countries like Iceland or Norway, as they're geographically closer to the poles. Once these energetic particles enter the atmosphere, they collide with various other particles and the energy is released in the form of colorful light. And based on the height of the collision and the type of molecules that collide, we can see different colors in the sky. The iconic green color that most of us probably think of happens when charged particles collide with oxygen molecules 100 to 200 kilometers above the surface. For more information on this, you can head over to Wayne.com. Meteorologist Cameron Leatherman, Wayne 15 News. It was beautiful. I didn't see it, but I saw plenty of pictures. I think you can find those on Wayne.com if you missed it too.